With your permission, I'd like to talk about that double blind study that showed that certain individuals can be extremely sensitive to EMF. If you can share the outcomes of that. Well, there's just absolutely no question about it. We study where we selected patients who uh, were uh, complaining of electrical sensitivity. You know, they complained of the Wi-Fi, telephones, portable phones bothering them. And we put them in the room and actually uh, de-adapted them so that they were uh, symptom-free. And then we challenged them with placebo and with the uh, different frequencies and found that we could uh, uh, could trigger the electrical sensitivity and cause them to have illness. The other thing we found was that uh, 80% of the patients also had a chemical problem, which was uh, the electrical part was built on top of the chemical problem. So if you didn't address the uh, chemical problem, it wouldn't get better. That's interesting. So the one exacerbates the other, correct? Yeah, mm-hmm. it seems to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, there are about 20% who seem to just have total electrical sensitivity and uh, and no chemical problems, but they're, they're certainly in the minority. And and you found correlations between EMF and blood pressure, EMF and cataracts, and just so many other symptoms and problems. Uh, yes, heart irregularities. Mm-hmm. EMF uh, seems to give the autonomic nervous system, which is your automatic nervous system, which goes to your heart and your blood vessels and your uh, intestines and, and also your brain. There seems to be a, uh, a what we call a sympathetic surge from that. That means an adrenaline surge. The block of that, the parasympathetic nervous system, seems to be decreased in about 60 to 80 percent of the patients. And there's been to date about 8,000 uh, military studies done from way back when that proved this, and yet it's it's being covered up, and and people are still wondering what their symptoms are all about, and being misdiagnosed and mistreated. 